Alrighty then, uh, hello again everybody, uh, Hockey Guy back here for OutstandingPoker.com with uh, another video in the League Finder series uh, with Phil down in Arizona. Um, did something a little different this video in that we recorded a session then went back and talked about it uh, after the fact so we could stop the uh, play and, and look on Poker Stove and so forth. And so things to watch for in this uh, particular video, um, using Poker Stove to identify uh, opponent's ranges and um, and then apply that to uh, um, you know whether the board or the flop has, uh, has likely hit your opponent um, and then also several spots um, to increase three betting and and picking your opponent and what their range means and what you likely expect their their reaction to your three bet to be um, and then being aggressive in small pots um, just trying to reach out and grab the little bit of money there that nobody's willing to fight for and if, if they're not willing to fight for it uh, it might as well end up in your stack so um, and that's uh, that's the main things uh, the main three things that uh, that we'll cover in the, this video so with uh, no further ado we'll jump right to the action all right uh, hockey guy back again here with uh, Phil down in mighty Arizona and uh, gonna try something a little bit different on this video um, I'll get it back to the beginning apparently come on stop Whoop. come on uh, gonna try something there it goes Try something a little different this week uh, in that we have a uh, pre-recorded session here so that we can stop and uh, talk about any particular hands and look a little deeper into poker stove or whatever as we go along and and uh, and that way it uh, doesn't distract Phil from trying to play uh, future hands while we're talking about older hands and and we can really uh, discuss a little more deeply uh, you know what uh, was going on or whatever so um, this session here is from a couple weeks ago, so uh, I don't necessarily remember what uh, Phil may or may not remember about the video, but uh, we'll just, uh, is it going already? Come on, video? Sorry about that. Um, we'll uh, get it back here to the beginning here in a second. And there we go. Come on. And we'll just pause. Yeah, there we go. All right. Um, but at any rate, um, whether Phil remembers what his thinking was then or not, we can just kind of discuss whatever he uh, chose to do and and uh, see if uh, if we think that was the best play or if there was uh, something else that uh, that might have been another option and and uh, go from there. So, can you hear me, okay, Phil? Yeah, I can hear that pretty good. Okay, cool. So we'll just go ahead and uh, this is the beginning of the uh, session, such as it was uh, once upon a time, and uh, we'll go ahead and. Uh, and just play it through and uh, when something interesting comes up uh, then we can uh, we can pause and chat or whatever as the case may be so uh, with that being said we'll just uh, kind of go along and and uh, I guess I'll just turn it over to you and you can kind of think about or discuss what you think uh, might have been the best play here when it comes around to your turn and the various hands and then if there's uh, something we need to look at a little closer we'll just go ahead and do that and okay. so if I can find the go button um, go. Yep, try again. There we go. There we go. So anyhow, these were, uh, what were these? Looks like uh, these were $10 tables uh, that Phil was playing, and uh, I'll turn it back over to him. Okay. Um, just from the looks of the things, I know it was a little bit, uh, a little short into the session. I, mean, I hadn't been on the table too long. I've got 33 hands on the table on the right. About two hands on the table on the left, probably because the table I originally got on maybe busted up, and so I went out uh, table searching there and grabbed this one. Um, here's an interesting one here, Ace-10 offsuit. I know I'm going to get folded around to. I'm going to raise there, only because we've been playing this back back and forth here over the last five or ten minutes, trying to set everything up. But I just standard four times, big blind raise. Nobody did in the pot yet. Now I got everybody to fold. Went ahead and took it down. And that's just a standard mandatory raise there, ace-10. Yeah. Uh, nothing exciting or particularly insightful there, but it is something you just, if you're not doing that, you're you're going to cause yourself uh, trouble. Yeah. That ace-5 offsuit on that very next hand there on the same table, um, you know, I've, I rarely will, if ever, in fact, I won't play that at all unless I'm maybe on the button, nobody else has come in. And I'll go ahead and use it to steal the blinds with. It's just a good habit to what get. You, yeah, just a good habit to 